I constantly see people like Dan Bozirin recently. He's in so much trouble because he was basically taking all this money out of his company to pay for a $200,000 per month house. All these private jets, basically living outside his means, which were already pretty large. Why is somebody doing this if they're happy? Why are they putting themselves in such a weird place? It's because they're not happy. Pursuing happiness will ruin your life. And when you die, you're going to look back and you're going to be filled with nothing but regret. And you're going to say, I wasted my life. Most of you guys, and I was doing this too, we're trying to gratify ourselves and make our lives more pleasurable. That's why we want money. We want cars. We want women. We want all of these things, believing that it'll give us happiness because those are things that bring us pleasure. So we think, or even going out and eating good food and, and living the good life, that will make us happy. No, it won't. Your brain doesn't have context on what you as a person need. It doesn't have context on what's going to give you a fulfilling life. All it does is it operates just like a computer system in ones and zeros. One is dopamine being released zero is pain. So for example, when you use Facebook, you're getting a ton of dopamine releases. It works the same way like a slot machine. Therefore, your brain tells you you're happy, you're comfortable, you feel good, keep doing it because it doesn't have context. Your brain doesn't see, hey, this is destroying your life. It sees, hey, this is the quickest way to get a one. And if you then start going and reading a book, you're going to start getting a bunch of zeros. You're going to get pain because this is boring compared to World of Warcraft. This is boring compared to Facebook. Happiness is an emotional response to an outcome. If I win, I will be happy. If I don't, I won't. It's an if-then, cause and effect, quid pro quo, standard that we cannot sustain because we immediately raise it every time we attain it. Okay, put it this way. There's times where I feel really happy, but at that time, I also know this is temporary. It's, I'm gonna go back to just fine. And there's times where I, I feel unhappy, and I know it's it's gonna go back to normal that's just maybe that's just my personal chemistry and how it works in my brain i'm never constantly fucking happy because that would just be insane happiness is not the thing to chase you cannot be in an internal state of happiness it doesn't happen because if you continually lived in happiness you wouldn't even feel happy anymore you wouldn't even know what it was it's a contrast in life which actually brings me to the point i was actually watching this youtube video about a lot of people who actually went through a lot of pain especially self-inflicted pain where they went and sought out pain they had generally higher levels of dopamine and happiness in their lives because when they weren't in pain they felt good their normal felt good and so in reality, what this really means is that you're chasing happiness. I'm chasing happiness by seeking pleasure. But the real way to get happy is to seek pain. Kobe Bryant, when he was getting into the NBA when he was 18, he would always go and drive around college towns and he was unhappy because he would see all these other kids out partying and drinking and enjoying their lives. And he'd say, did I make a mistake? Am I doing something wrong here? If you look at Patrick Carlson when he was building Stripe, which has made him a billionaire many times over, when he talks about actually building Stripe and everything he was going through, he wasn't comfortable and he wasn't happy most of the time. Do you think Patrick Carlson's going to look back in his life and say, I don't feel like I achieved anything. I, I feel like I wasted my life. Do you think Kobe would look back in his life and say, I think I wasted my life? No. I'll give you a good example from this last week. I went and I ran three hours in the mountains. So I ran up 3,000 feet of it over that three hour time frame. It was about 14 miles that I ran on the mountains. It was tough. I get back home, I lay on the floor. It feels so good. I'm happy. I'm filled with endorphins just laying on the floor. I'm not sitting in a comfortable seat. I'm not eating a steak. I'm not getting laid or sitting in the shower and having the water rain over me. It feels good, man. The whole point of this, you have to understand, is that you're doing the wrong thing. This is why you're unhappy. This is why you are beating yourself up. This is why you're procrastinating. This is why you're addicted to the P word on the internet and you're watching that and you're jerking off is because you think that going after pleasure is going to bring you happiness and it only brings you guilt and dissatisfaction in your life and boredom and lack of motivation. Do the wrong thing and do things that feel painful but you know are the right action. I like struggle. I like it. I think it's important. I yeah, think no, it's no, there's no doubt about that. There's no doubt about having something that you're striving for, some goal. And like you just said, when, you, when all those goals have been achieved and now you're sitting there at the top of the mountain and you now you don't feel happy. 
what do you do? Just pick up a fucking hobby, man. <laughs> Find something you suck at and get better at it. I mean, that seems so simplistic. So stop seeking happiness. Stop seeking gratification. Stop seeking pleasure. It doesn't mean that you can't enjoy or have those things, but seek growth, seek development, and go and find your pain.